did you just pick this game up because it's been in a bundle on sale in the PlayStation Store forever now, and you realize that this is the hardest game to platinum in the bundle? Well, what game am I talking about? It's Grand Theft Auto Vice City for the PlayStation 4. This is a PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 4 port, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through how to get the Platinum in Grand Theft Auto Vice City for the PlayStation 4 the most efficient way. Before we get this guy kicked off, I am going to do a little rundown here so you guys can get a basic understanding and understand how I got my Platinum in the order that I kind of went for the trophies in. So first off, I am going to be discussing any missable trophies in the game so you guys can look out for them as you're playing through the game. Then I'm going to go through some natural progression trophies, some side mission trophies. Then I'm going to go through trophies that are related to collectibles. And then we'll finish with the various other trophies. And I will talk about them in detail. Now let's take a look at a breakdown of this trophy list. Breaking down this trophy list, we have 16 bronze, 13 silver, 4 gold, 1 platinum, and a total of 34 trophies. Now, as you can see in the upper right hand corner, the trophy tracker has now popped in. Now, when that gets to 34 out of 34, that means you should have earned all other trophies in the game and you should have successfully obtained your platinum trophy. Also linked below will be any trophy guides, collectible guides, or guides that I found useful. I will also link any websites or forums that are useful to get this platinum as well. Before we get into this guide, I do want to mention this. This game does have cheat codes, and I'm going to give you guys a list of some safe cheats that you can use. And if you use any other cheats, you got to use them at your own risk because they could void any trophies. So the safe cheats are the health cheat, armor cheat, weapons 1 through 3 cheat, the lower 1 level cheat, and also the make cars explode cheat. I will have those ones linked below in a list so you can know which ones to use and not to use and i will also link the form that has how to enter them as well in the description below as well there will be a full list of the trophies in the order that i earn them just in case you want to take a look through there and see which ones i've earned when and where instead of going to a different website or on playstation to check it out we're going to start off with some missable trophies here and there actually aren't any missable trophies in the game but these two trophies that i am going to talk about are trophies that you should definitely earn right when you start up the game because they give people the hardest time and they're really easy to do if you just do them right away if you do them right away you won't see anything in the story mode that will ruin it or anything of that sort so you know it's not going to ruin your natural progression anyway the trophies are blood stained hands and take the cannoli Take the cannoli is to earn the godfather criminal rating and these go together because you'll earn bloodstained hands before you earn take the cannoli now the reason i say to do these earlier in the game is because there's a method that you can do that basically can take a day to set up and complete and you'll get these trophies no problem so i'll leave in the description below two videos i kind of combine the methods together and then i got my trophy but anyway so how you do it is you have to collect 80 collectibles and you have to be very very careful how you collect them and make sure you don't get shot at that'll unlock a helicopter from there you got to go set the helicopter up to shoot a blown up vehicle you just let it sit there all day long and then boom you'll have your trophy after about eight hours of sitting there and like i said i'll leave some reference videos down below for you guys to watch I basically took the two methods where I stole the helicopter and then I went to Prawn Island instead of going to the island in the middle. So again, this is all up to you, but I will leave the references down below and you should definitely get these trophies first because again, they're the ones that everyone complains about and they're the trophies that give everyone the hardest time when it comes to this platinum. As for trophies earned through natural progression, there's a total of four of them. Now this does not include asset missions, which count towards 100% and a few other trophies. These are just trophies where playing through the game and playing the main story mission, you will earn these no matter what. The trophies are Legal Counsel, Life of the Party, South American Connection, and Mischief Managed. Not only are there main missions in this game, there are side missions as well. Now the main missions are the giant letters around the map. The side missions are like the little symbols, the various symbols around the map that you can go to and start missions. There is a total of four trophies that are related to these side missions. You have Gun for Hire, which is to complete all assassination contracts. You have Big Heat from Little Havana, which is to complete the Trojan Voodoo mission. You have Chauffeur, which is to complete the Plebiscity Tour mission. And Tommy Two Wheels, which is to complete the Hogtie mission. Now for the last three, you will earn these trophies when you're doing the final mission for these side mission characters. Again, they are the little symbols around the map. So if you are having troubles with them, that's the easiest way to describe them. And they are not missable at all. When it comes to collectibles in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, there are many different forms that they take up in the game. 
Relating to trophies, there are five trophies that are related to these various different collectibles. Now, all five trophies that are related to collectibles are going to require you to unlock both of the cities, which you get access to pretty early in the game. Now, if you did do the glitch to get the Take the Cannoli trophy, then you should have already collected 80 hidden packages. You'll already earn the trophy Scouring the City. So at this point, if you just collect the last 20 packages, you should get the City Sleuth trophy as well. This is a pretty easy trophy and it should only take you about another half an hour to an hour to get these packages. I do have a full collectible guide down below if you want to check it out for yourself, but like I said, it just takes a little bit of time to get these hidden packages. Stores are another type of collectible in the game, and there are 15 of them throughout. What they are is just little convenience stores that are placed all throughout the map. You will have to have both islands unlocked to rob all 15 of them. Once you do this, you will earn the trophy put them up which is to knock off 15 stores. I do have a guide for this, I will link it below, and you can check that out if you're interested. And if you're a fan of the unique jumps in the Grand Theft Auto franchise, then I got another trophy for you here, it's Daredevil, which is to complete 36 unique jumps. These can be a bit tricky, but the good thing about Vice City is they introduced bikes, which make it a lot easier. I do have a guide for this, I will link it down below in the description if you do need help with it check that out. And the last trophy related to collectibles is Grand Theft Auto, which is to retrieve every wanted vehicle at Sunshine Auto's import garage. Now you are going to have to have the second island unlocked because the Sunshine Auto's is on the second island and you are going to have to acquire the asset once you have the ability to buy the property. Now once you have the ability to buy the property, you just go around back. There will be a garage with a list of vehicles. You just got to go find the vehicles, bring them back to the garage, complete the list, and I believe there's three or four lists that you have to complete. It's fairly easy. A lot of the cars have specific small locations or are very easy to find around the map. So you should get this no problem, but go for this once you have the ability to buy the Sunshine Autos. Lastly, to wrap up the guide, we've got the various other trophies that are left in the game. There are a total of 18 of them. I'm not going to go in full in depth in most of them because you'll most likely earn them through natural progression or just playing through the game or accidentally earn them. So I won't waste too much of your time talking about those certain trophies. Once you have access to free room around the city, which is right at the beginning of the game, the first trophy that you should go for is point A to point B, which is to drop off 25 passengers driving the taxi. Now, I will tell you this for the 100%, you are going to have to drop off 100 passengers, so you might as well just get this out of the way very early in the game. It's a very tedious trophy, so it's great to just get it done. Another very easy mini game and trophy to get right at the beginning of the game is high quality H2O, which is to extinguish 10 fires. Just find a fire truck, activate the missions, go around, extinguish 10 fires, and the trophy is yours. Another mini game that you can find on the first island is the Delivery Boy. When you deliver 10 pizzas, you will earn the trophy Pie Guy. Again, this can be done on the first island or the second island, but I would advise to get this done as early in the game as possible just to get it out of the way. So the last trophy that's related to these so-called mini games is Did Someone Call the Wambulance, which is to complete paramedic mission level 12. In my personal opinion, this is the most annoying out of these mini games just because being a paramedic is really annoying. Getting to level 12 will take you about 40 minutes if you're absolutely perfect. I would suggest that you do this on the first island because the first island is the easiest to get to know. The patients are kind of close together and all in all it is the easiest out of the two islands. I can attest for that myself. When you're running from the cops and you accidentally run over or walk over one of those circles with the badges in between and it lowers your wanted level, that is considered a bribe. And when you do that, you will earn the trophy Greasy Palms, which is to use a police bribe to reduce your wanted level. This is one of those trophies that needs no explanation. You'll probably get it just through natural progression. When you're about an hour or two into the game, then you'll get access to the middle island that has all of the mansions in it. When you do have access to this, there's a one mansion that in the backyard, there's a pool that's half full. There's a ball back there and it will allow you to get the trophy Keepy Uppy Okie Doki, which is to earn a high score of five with the Keepy Uppy Beach Ball. Now you can find this beach ball on the beach, but I found that in the back of this mansion, this is the best place to get it. I do have a trophy guide, so I will link that down below in the description if you want to check that out. Once you have access to the middle island with all the mansions, you will also have access to the second island, which will also give you access to the airport. From here, you want to head over there with any type of bike, and you want to just perform a wheelie for 30 seconds, which will then earn you the trophy, one is better than two. 
It can be a bit difficult and there are a few methods to do it, but what I found was if you just keep kind of tapping the accelerate button every once in a while to keep your front tire off the ground, it's the easiest way to do it. You have to get this trophy on the first island in the northern part of Vice Beach. The trophy is just like the real thing, which is to win the RC Bandit race. Now this race is kind of hard to enter and it's got a lot of weird quirks and things that you have to do to kind of set it up to get into the race. I'm not going to talk about it in depth in this video because I could go on for about five minutes on how to set it up and everything, but I will link down in the description below a full guide and walkthrough on how to get this trophy, how to set it up, and how to do all these weird quirks to successfully earn this trophy. Chicken of the Sea, which is to snipe a seagull, is a trophy that will most likely be earned through natural progression or accidentally while playing throughout the game. Now if you don't accidentally earn it, the way to get this is just to head over to Vice Beach with a sniper, you'll see some seagulls flying around, shoot them, boom, the trophy's yours. As you're playing through the game, you'll get random wanted stars, this will be just running people over on the side of the road or through story missions, but as those add up, you will eventually get 100 total stars, 100 plus total stars. When this happens, you will earn the trophy Repeat Offender, which is to attain 100 wanted stars. This will most likely be earned through natural progression, but if it's not, you can just get one in stars, die, get one in stars, die, and repeat that over and over again to you successfully earn this trophy. Also, while playing through the story mode, you'll acquire sniper rifles and various weapons that will allow you to aim freely. When you get these weapons, you want to aim for the head as much as possible because the trophy straight to the dome, which is to perform 100 headshots, is obviously to successfully perform 100 headshots on enemies. Now headshots is when you shoot someone in the head, the head explodes and blood comes flying out. If you don't get this through natural progression and you've beaten the game, just get a sniper rifle, head over and just start shooting random civilians in the head until you successfully earn this. There are various different properties around the map that range from assets to safe houses. Eventually you will own all of them, but when you do buy 10 of them you will earn the trophy Vice City Mogul, which is to own 10 properties. There are many story missions and side missions throughout the game that are going to require you to blow up vehicles or kill people in vehicles. You may go on a little rampage around the map yourself and start blowing up vehicles on your own. Eventually you will destroy 100 road vehicles. When you do this, you will be awarded the trophy Going Green. Also while playing through story missions or going around on your little rampages, you may come across the 6 star wanted level. If you do, you will earn the trophy Catch Me If You Can, which is obviously to achieve a 6 star wanted level. If you don't gain this through natural progression or just dicking around on the map, all you gotta do is go to the second island, there is a military base there. Once you go in there and get noticed, you will get an automatic 6 star wanted level. Another little mini game that you can come across in this game is to play as a police officer or a vigilante. Now this trophy is a running rampant which is to complete a vigilante mission level 12. I do suggest to save this till later in the game until you have access to the attack chopper because you can actually access these vigilante missions while you're in the attack chopper and it makes it like 500 times easier and you can blast to level 12 in like 20 minutes it's very very easy extremely easy so save this until later in the game when you have access to this attack chopper this trophy you will most likely earn very late in the game if not one of the last trophies that you do earn and it is bull in a china shop which is to cause 1 million dollars in property damage now property damage ranges from destroying vehicles destroying boats destroying planes basically destroying anything in the game will add up to property damage the thing is, is this goes very slow and if you are having troubles with it you can just get a tank or the attack chopper and just go around and start destroying everything that you see but you will most likely earn it through natural progression but it won't be until much later in the game another trophy that will probably be one of the last trophies that you do earn in this game is i'm famous which is to earn the stuff of legends media attention rank now there are multiple methods to get this trophy and in my personal opinion it's really dumb to have in the game but basically what you have to do is in one life or in one chase you have to cause so much damage and so much chaos to kind of get the media to look at you and you have to get their attention technically so the first method is to just get a tank 
and just go around and blow up everything that you see, kill everyone that you see, just create as much rampage as possible. The hard thing about this is once you get six stars, it can be a bit difficult to maneuver around the map. The other method is to get 100% game completion when you have infinite ammo and everything. And from here, you'll be able to just kill everything and anything with no problem at all, especially with the minigun. Now, me personally, I used method one and I luckily got it. Again, you can use method one and keep trying and trying and trying because it is the easiest of the two, but method two is really nice to use when you have infinite chain gun ammo and you have fast reloads. It makes it extremely easy. So the method is up to you. And the very last trophy that you will most likely earn in this game is done it all, which is to earn 100% completion. Now, I know this is where a lot of questions and a lot of concerns are gonna come up. And me personally, I can't can't answer them all. I'm not a Grand Theft Auto Vice City expert. So if you're stuck on 98% and you ask me what's wrong, I'm not going to be able to tell you specifically what's wrong. But what I can do is I will link down below in the description a wiki that has a 100% checklist and it will go in depth detail everything that you have to do. If you thought you did something and you're not 100% sure, then go back and do it again. That's what it's going to come down to. At the end of the day, GTA's 100% completions can be a bit glitchy at times, or that's at least what you think. But they are actually right, and most of the times it's the player that's making the mistake. So if you are having a problem with the 100%, check out the checklist that I have down in the description below. And like I said, if you're not sure 100% if you completed anything on it, go ahead and complete it again because most likely you forgot, and if you do complete it, that'll be the last thing that you have to do. And after all that's being said, you should earn this trophy, Kingpin, which is to unlock all trophies. A beautiful platinum trophy. This is not that hard, and the thing that people have problems with the most is obviously the Take the Cannoli, which is to earn the Godfather Criminal Rating. If you do earn this very early in the game, which you can without ruining the story, it makes the game a lot easier and a lot less stressful. If I could go back and platinum the game again, I would get to take the cannoli right away so I didn't have to worry about it for the rest of the game. And it also doesn't void anything else in the game, so it makes it extremely easy and it takes a lot of stress off your shoulders. That's gonna about wrap up this guide, guys. I hope you did enjoy, and if it was informative and helpful, please smack that like button. Again, I am gonna leave my platinum playlist down in the description below. You guys can go down there, check that out, and suggest any platinums that you think I should do this on next. Also, you can check out my PSN profiles or just check me out on PlayStation. Again, suggest any games that I have platinum to make these future videos on because I will only be making these type of videos on games that I have personally platinum so I can put my two cents into it and suggest other things that I would do differently if I would platinum it again. Again, if you did enjoy the video and it was informative, smack that like button. Leave any questions, concerns, or requests down in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you guys around sometime soon.